terrorists have struck again overseas. The target today was in Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. Multiple gunmen, believed to be Islamic extremists, stormed a restaurant popular with foreign diplomats. They took at least 20 hostages and killed two police commanders and possibly others in a gun battle. The U.S. State Department says no American government workers were in the restaurant. That and coming three days after the deadly airport attack in Turkey means security is very much on the minds of millions of Americans on the move this holiday weekend. Here's Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues. Heavily armed police are on patrol at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Canine units bolster security at Los Angeles International Airport. There is enhanced police presence in key locations across the country. In New York City, a new class of more than 1,200 officers was sworn in to complement the NYPD's anti-terror squad. Police Quiet Commissioner paper, William dogs. Bratton. This year, they are here fully trained, fully equipped. The name of the game in dealing with terrorist threats and citizen crime is to prevent to the greatest degree possible. Federal officials say there are no credible or specific threats this 4th of July weekend. Still, according to the Department of Homeland Security, federal officials remain concerned about terrorist-inspired individuals and homegrown violent extremists who may be encouraged or inspired to target public events or places. San Bernardino, Paris, Brussels, and Orlando demonstrate that terrorists will consider a wide selection of targets. But the attack in Turkey serves as a reminder that transportation hubs like train stations and airports remain a security priority. LAX is preparing for a record 1.2 million travelers. The first level of security begins well before the screening machines. Patrick Gannon is the airport's chief of police. Our first layer is always intelligence. We also have perimeter uh, units that are respond that are in the area. We have officers assigned to each of our terminals. But what, one of the messages I always put out is, is that we need everybody's help. Law enforcement is reminding the public that if they see something, say something. Josh, airlines are warning customers to be prepared for longer wait times at airport security checkpoints. Jeff Begay is in Washington.